today um, with the rain outside it's been raining for a few days and um, I just feel like having some comfort food so today I'm gonna make meatball with marinara sauce but I'm going to make it separately I'm gonna do the marinara uh, sauce first and then you can actually keep that and then put it aside and you can actually have it on hand and you can have it anytime that you want and as for the meatball it goes like that too I'm gonna teach you how to make a batch that you can actually bake and then you put it in the in the in the in the freezer so I like to make things a lot and freeze them so they actually freshly freeze freshly frozen you say and you can thaw it out and use it as you go so you don't have to always be cooking you don't always have to be in the kitchen so today we're doing the marinara sauce and I'm doing everything, almost everything fresh. Uh, you can always buy canned tomatoes, but you have to actually also read labels. And, but I'm also gonna use paste. And among these two, I like this one cause it's, it has more intense taste because it uses a sun-dried tomato. But this is commonly around, so you can always use this too. And we're gonna use garlic, onions, and all this. I like to use um, cayenne. For the spiciness and i didn't have the regular paprika the red paprika so i'm gonna just put in smoked paprika in there and i like to use this for the color also and of course this is an italian blend blend um it's nice but i still think that it's missing more oregano so i added more oregano to it so i have everything here and let's go to the kitchen Okay, so I've actually heat up ghee here, and so I'm gonna crush some onions. I mean, what's it called this garlic? You can actually cook garlic um, on a raw. I mean, not raw, on cold oil first to get all the oil um, fragrant with the garlic. But just now I've heat up the pan, so. Okay, this is harder than usual. Get that garlic. Okay. I'm gonna put in the onions. This is of one small onion. It's almost there. You can see it still has color. So um, since I'm going to simmer this for a long time, I'm going to put in my tomatoes now. Remember that um, onions and tomatoes are not like a keto food. Keto, but it's good for sauce. So don't overeat them. Since I'm doing this from scratch, I actually cut up my tomatoes really small so that it will take a shorter time for it to cook. So I'm just going to let this cook here for a bit until you can see that it became, it'll become very oily and all that. You're going to see it. We're going to let this sit here. So this has been simmering for 15 minutes. You can see that the oil is starting to come. So I like it like that. And this is not done yet. It could actually still sit for another 15 minutes. And um, then you can actually, every five minutes, you can come by and like poke it like that. You know, you really want the tomatoes to be blended, but I don't want to blend the tomato. Okay, so we can just let it sit and if you think it's and you can actually um, make the fire a little bit smaller. Okay, we'll let it sit. It's really fragrant now. This is already 10 minutes. And this is the time that you put in the liquid. And I have here half a cup of cream and one cup of water. I'm gonna put it in here. As a ketonian, we really love our cream. And this is the all the uh, ingredients that I've actually mentioned earlier. The oregano, the 
And we have bay leaves in here. I'm going to throw in the bay leaves. And I'm, I'm going to put in the sun-dried tomato paste. Okay, about one, two. That'd be good. That's about one and a half tablespoon. So this is going to be put to low fire. And this is going to cook again until it's really nice and oily. And if it's too dry, put in your, put in more water into this. It's fine. And we haven't put in our salt. We're going to do that at the end of this, of this. Okay. I always like to put my salt at the end because uh, you do not know what is the taste of the um, fresh tomato is like. Okay, so we're going to let it sit again. So this has been here for three minutes. And we didn't touch it. And look at that. Look at look at how it is boiling. This is beautiful. So this is done. Actually, just... Um, I like that texture for my shiratake because like shiratake doesn't hold your sauce like the way uh, pasta those egg pasta does because it doesn't have the gluten or you know but so we need a thicker texture for it to fold into the um to the uh to, to incorporate so i like i like this kind of a texture for my pasta so for me this is done but um, you can actually always cook it more and all I have to do here is just to add my salt and this is done and if you want to keep it let it cool and throw this in the freezer and you can always use it anytime okay so this calls for salt and to serve so if it gets too thick like I said you can add more water to this and if you freeze it and thaw it out you can also add more water ah. here we have a marinara sauce so like I said when you cook you need to taste your food so I just tasted this and it's lacking of a little bit of that sweetness so I'm gonna put some Locanto in here and that's about it.